part two. Let me show you my findings on this, which would have been sort of connected to this. This control panel was in the main control room, control room D, and it was connected to substation C via a single cable. In the last video, people were mentioning they've seen these before. It's called a mosaic panel. The reason it's mosaic is because it's a multi-purpose panel. Uh, it's made like out of tiny little tiles. So if you look here, you pull this off and um, you can make it in any shape or form you'd like. There's a bunch of switches for isolating the circuits and whatnot, but for me, if I'm honest, the switches and all of the like surface level stuff is not as interesting as the thing behind it, this beast right here. So as mentioned in the last video, this is the telemetry system. It has a means of converting 160 lights and bleeps and bloops and alarms down a line into a single cable, but not like modern times, literally using relays. So this is basically a 1960s modem multiplexer parallel to serial converter. Since the last video, I've welded up a kind of trolley for it so it can spin around and I can move this around. This one here is the encoder and I think that one here is the decoder. So this would have been uh, at the other end of a long, thin, single cable. It also came with this, which is called Telecode 80, which I think um, actually uh, superseded this stuff. So uh, this stuff was still in place at the power station, but I think this one had replaced its function or something like that. This right here is the schematic for the encoder, the thing behind it. It's all I've been able to go off of. Uh, luckily, I found this. Uh, but yeah, so basically, it receives a bunch of uh, switches in, get them focus, and that goes into the uni selector. You've got one of 20 uh, uh, double point uh, switches, so it checks the error between them, or you can have two single points. So you can actually um, have 40 inputs into a single uni selector bank. In this specific rank, we've got one, two, three, four selector banks, uniselector banks. These are the group banks. So that's 40 inputs times uh, four. That's 160 inputs of ons and offs. And these, these transmit through this one, which is the group selector. So these go into here and these go off to the next bit of circuitry. The way these send a code is what they do first is they send a group code, which is a, a selection of five pulses that can be in any order, but they will uh, involve two long pulses and three short pulses, which means that the decoder side will be able to figure out which of these banks it is receiving. And that's thanks to this relay box. We'll have a closer look at that later on when we get this running. After the group code, this 50 point unit selector will scrub through all 40 points on all of the inputs, which then scans through and then the serial to parallel converter, the one that's over there, will turn it back into parallel. Have a listen to the first pulses. You'll hear they go, do, 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 do. that's the group code, and then it will scrub through. Here's a sensor going in. I'm running out of time, but check back for the next part. There's a longer video on Patreon.